In this video, I am going to explain point slope form. Now, point slope form, the formula for that would be y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. m is the slope. and x1 and y1 is a coordinate that the line passes through. We can see that the line passes through the point negative 2, negative 4, and the slope is 3. So writing that in point slope form, we have our x1 and y1, so it's going to be y minus our y1, which is negative 4, so minus a negative 4, and that's going to be equal to our m, which is our slope, times x minus our x1, which in this case is negative 2. So simplifying this, it would be y minus a negative 4 is plus 4 equals 3 times x minus a negative 2 would be like adding 2. So in point slope form, this line is y plus 4 equals 3x plus 2. So for point slope form, you only need to know the slope and one coordinate. But if we were to convert this in slope intercept form, we would need to know the slope and the intercept. So to get that into the form of y equals mx plus b, we're going to simplify. So y plus 4 equals 3 times x plus 2. Our first step would be to distribute the 3. So rewriting this, we're going to have y plus 4 equals 3 times x plus 3 times 2. So 3x plus 3 times 2. That's going to be y plus 4 equals 3x plus 6. Subtracting the 4 from both sides, we'll get y all by itself, which is how we want the form to look. So we're going to have y equals 3x plus 2. Now let's look back at our graph and see if that y-intercept occurred at the point 2. So x would be 0 and y would be 2. And yes, we can see that our original line crosses the y-axis at 0, 2.